What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspies. We just sold out 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball Update Hobby. Uh, six box case break. Pikachu number one, guys. First case of the day. Here. All right. Now remember, updates this year, and I think last year was the same thing, right? They were uh, six box cases, so a little, little different from the normal 12 that we're used to with normal Topps Chrome. And I'm gonna rip three boxes at a time, and then we'll go with the next three. And like I said, by the time I get done with this, you know, I'll probably be a little over. Joe should be here in the next like 10 minutes or so. He'll take care of you guys for the rest of the night. And like I said, we're streaming for 12 hours today. I don't know. I think they did this last year, if I'm correct. I mean, they've been they've been switching a lot of products to six box cases, so I don't know if that's something they're uh, eventually going to start doing. But. Uh, Yeah, I didn't either, to be honest. But they've been switching a lot of configurations on boxes the last, like, year or two. Ever since Fanatics took over. You know, they're not... They're try not trying to, uh... They're not trying to... Maybe they're just trying to have people save some money. In the sense that, like, instead of buying a whole sealed case of 12, now you can buy a case of 6 instead. Now, it seems like you're losing, like, half the boxes, but in reality, you're just... You want to have 12 boxes, you just buy two cases. I guess what it is is that, like, it gives more people opportunity. Like, well, if you hit a Jackson Holiday in one case, there is technically a chance that you might hit him again. Or, you know, vice versa. Hey, what's up, Trends? How was Vegas, man? And to be honest, Trends, I did not watch the game. I was trying to get alerts on my phone while I was at a uh, concert. So, I went to go see uh, Sabrina Carpenter. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's pretty popular. I low-key listen to a lot of her music. I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> she has bangers. But, uh, yeah, I went to San Diego. I drove to San Diego for the day and went to the concert. So while the game was going on, I didn't really watch it. But I was getting some alerts until the concert started. And uh, I seen that they were coming back when they were only down by a field goal. And I thought, oh, my God. They might come back and win this game. But I didn't watch it, but I mean, I've seen the headlines, you know, pretty sloppy game in the sense I think Goff had like five picks, I think CJ had like two, but that just goes to show you, bro, I'm telling you guys, your Lions, your Lions can play such a horrible game the way they did offensively and still come back and win that game. On the road too, right? I think it was on the road. So, but yeah, I bet if you, you watching it in Vegas was probably a little tough. Run up the bar tab. Like, were all of the balls, like, were all the interceptions really on him, or were they tipped? Was it maybe the route, like, the, the receivers fell? I can't imagine all five were on him. Probably just a super horrible day for him, though. I mean, that's pretty unusual, though. I don't think he's had a horrible game like that in... I mean, I don't even think he's had a five-interception game ever, but... Yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude, a good friend of mine um, that I met through the hobby here. I actually used to live here locally. 
uh, moved down to San Diego. Uh, he used to work for for AEG Staples Center. Um, so he used to like run all the events at Staples Center, but he got promoted to be like the main main guy in the Pachanga Arena in San Diego. So like he runs all the events, concerts, games, whatever's there, and um, yeah, a couple years ago he hooked me up to go see Bad Bunny. Got me the preferred parking, front row seats. It was awesome. And then uh, he was able to get me tickets for Vanessa to go see Sabrina Carpenter. So, same, pretty much same deal. <laughs> uh, which, honestly, dude, those tickets are freaking expensive, dude. I didn't realize people really loved it that much. Like, the, the tickets in the area were like $700. It wasn't even like floor. Like, perfect premiere level of. But, uh... Yeah, I do. I, I just don't... I don't like to, like, take advantage of it. So, this is only, like, my second time in, like, three years. <laughs> so, yeah. He always told me before, like, hey, let me know, let me know. And I finally... I finally said, you know what? I, I'd like to go see Bad Bunny in Pachanga Arena. So, that was, like, in 2022. So, it's been two years. Maybe once every two years. <laughs> I'll take advantage of it. But he's always he always tells me, but I'm not I'm not one to take advantage of it. But when I found out that she was playing there, I figured, well, I'll ask if she can. I mean, I don't care where I sit. It doesn't it doesn't even have to be in the front row, right? I mean, just just to get a ticket in there. But yeah, it was fun. All right, here we go, guys. Super expensive, dude. She's performing here in LA on Friday, Sunday, Monday at Crypto, and then a couple nights at the Kia Forum, bro. Dude, tickets are stupid. She was a really good performer, though, I will say. Shota. Holiday. Sharia is a Shohei All-Star game. It's kind of cool. I don't know how much I'm really going to be sleeping and top-loading, guys, but obviously I'm sure we have a list of the main players. I mean, obviously they're update rookies, so, I mean, some of these, unfortunately, are only going to go for quarters and less than a dollar each, but... I know it does add up after a while though. Oh. 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 Oh my god. What a teaser. What a damn teaser. Oh. How massive that would have been if it was a holiday. Banuelos. Orange. Yeah, no, no, exactly, yeah, you know what I mean, like, you don't take advantage of it all the time, right, but, hey, I mean, every once in a while, if he's always telling you, hey, let me know, let me know, or, you know, Ellie Refractor, but yeah, no, it was, it was cool, man, I mean, I also sent him a little gift, he, he loves the hobby, so, it's not like I fully went for free in that sense, but, but yeah. you gotta take care of your people, you know? All right, Luis Gill, to 199. And, whoa, did we get a second auto? Is there two autos? No, there's only supposed to be one autograph in every box. Jason. Second so, auto. Yeah. Paul Goldschmidt, all tech autograph to 50. Nice. Uh, that's going to go to the St. Louis uh, Cardinals, which is Sportport. Got that from that uh, team filler. That gal off there. So, Trends, you and your brother should come down to the Eagles game, bro. It's, it's uh, next weekend. Sunday night football against the Rams, baby. All right, here we go. Hunter Stratton. 
two one uh, three ninety nine. We got Jackson Holiday. Ricky Van Asco. And Yuki Matsui is the autograph here in this box. Tristan with the Padres. Probably not the Padre you want, but still on the board. These are really, really cool inserts though. Just Chisholm, Colton Kelser. Jackson Merrill, All-Star Game. I feel like all the All-Star Games are like, uh... Wait, is this a variation? Or is that just a normal one? Could that be a variation maybe? Oh, but I feel like all the All-Star Game ones are refractors. Dominguez with that one. Maybe that is a variation. I don't know. I, I, mean, I have to look at the variation list. And Owen Chenaldo 125 for the Angels. And his act. There's Paul Skeens. Andy Pajes. Oh, damn. <laughs> sick, bro. I'm sick. <laughs> Should be a good game too, man, honestly. Eagles are getting healthy right now. They're on a winning streak. You know, if they if they if they could beat the commanders this week, big time. Fluky game for the Rams though. I mean they, I think they could have won that Miami game, but just couldn't really get anything done offensively. Yeah, I was good. Gonna, you see that? Boom! Woo. Woo. To the side. Alright, third box here. And Jonathan Kleiss to four ninety nine for Seattle. That'd be crazy, man. I mean, if the way they're both playing, it could happen. I mean, if the Lions have them winning the number one seed, and let's just say the Eagles are the number two seed, I mean, bracket-wise, it could happen. But it all just depends on the bracket. Lamont, uh, Lamont Wade Jr. to 299 Probably a shoebox. Update? No, they're all the same people. All the same dudes. So what's updated then? <laughs> it's just new photos, but really the debut patches. Oh, the debut patches were what we're looking at. And you know, there's other, there's like uh, you know, more vets now that have like Ricky Henderson is in this one. Oh, uh, that's true. And so like that. Right. I don't think there's an actual like new update, unless it's Skeens maybe. But I thought, well, Skeens came out. I guess he was an update and update. So yeah, I guess this stuff. Technically. Oh, Skeens wasn't in the first one? No, first he was an update. 
He was not there. Okay, so Skeen. So right. maybe I guess Skeen, but that that was like a normal one, I guess. Second box here, guys. Uh, Taz, we had one major teaser in the first box, bro. It's like you've seen Orange, you've seen Orioles, and it was not one of the bigger players. But that box did have two autographs. Goldschmidt and that Orioles player there. And I assume this is a Dominguez short print, unless that's a normal one, but should be, potentially. But uh, nothing crazy yet. This is the second half of the six boxes here. But that first one was a heartbreaker.
Alright, here we go, guys. And, uh, Stars, Stratos, Stra uh, Stratos Barrick, uh, Aaron Judge, and then we have a Paul Skeens right there. And Robert Gasser. That's an on card for the Brewers. Let's go to Zach. And we have for the Rockies, Jordan Beck to 299. Which is poor, poor. Schemes Refractor. Negative, Lamont, Kolek. Box. Jordan back negative. Jordan Blazovic to 250 there for the Minnesota Twins. Going to Zach. We got Jose Caballeros. Caballero to two fifty. And we got a uh, rookie rush, Justin Fosco. All right, last box here, guys. Thank you guys for filling this up so much, guys. Like I said, uh, Joe's here now, so he'll take care of you guys after this. And I'll be back on Friday. Gold, Alex Spies to 50 for the Astros. Houston, that's going to sport port. Seal Perez for the Detroit Tigers. Copperman with that one. All right, so not the craziest autographs besides that Goldschmidt. Then we definitely got teased earlier too. And then 
we got a uh, Christian Scott with the Mets. 299. Tyler Black. All right, guys, so there you go. So Perez, Blazovic, Gasser, the class, and then you have Matsui, and then you have two autographs in the first ball, Goldschmidt at 50, and then you have the Buñuelos. So not the craziest case, but again, guys, with only six boxes, there are going to be a lot of different ones. So obviously, you know, it's half the price technically with like 12 box cases. So there you go. Next one, of course, is pretty pretty similar in spots, so we'll probably serial number it or uh, randomize it. Uh, team filler it up just like we did this one similar to it so thank you guys get some more done guys also that impeccable is very nice watch out get some more of that impeccable going too guys thank you